The meat inspection program was a two-part training program primarily targeted at officers from the Livestock Division and the Department of Environmental Health. The training included both a practical and theoretical session on how to conduct proper anti-mortem and post-mortem inspections. An anti-mortem inspection is performed on an animal before slaughter, whereas a post-mortem inspection is performed after slaughter. According to Animal Health Officer at the Ministry of Agriculture, Columbus Philippi, while St. Lucia is not known to have any diseases that would render the carcasses unsafe, there are conditions that can render the meat's quality unmarketable. He emphasized the importance of the inspections in protecting public health by ensuring that carcasses and parts entering commerce are wholesome and disease-free. Both ministries actually are suffering from a lack of resources in terms of manpower. A lot of the old guard, so to speak, is on their way out. And we are seeking to train the younger members of staff into like it's more an in-house training program assisted by PAHO, where we're trying to pass on the, the, the knowledge, pass on the information to the younger staff and to bring them into the fold where they could carry out the, the inspection when myself and other senior members leave. PAHO consultant Claudius Prosper says that whilst anti-mortem and post-mortem training is necessary and informative, the onus is on the participants to continue to practice and improve their skill set. We are hoping that after they have um, witnessed what is happening here today, right, um, that would prompt them because you'd well appreciate that this one obsession will not will not make them qualified or versed in conducting post-mortem and anti-mortem inspection. So we are hoping that this session would serve as a springboard where they can go out there and do further research and continue continue this kind of, of, of inspection so that they can they can get versed. Before slaughtering animals for commerce, livestock butchers and farmers should contact the Department of Agriculture's Veterinary and Livestock Division. Consumers are also urged to exercise caution and safety when purchasing meat products. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.